to 7 for 211. 212 for Pakistan to win. Andrew Hudson made 54. Vessels out for 7. Mark Rushmere 35. And the other two decent scores were Hansi Kronjia, who finished with 47 not out, and 33 for Brian McMillan. 7 for 211. There were a number of wides and no balls in the bowling figures for Pakistan. Wasi Makram finished with 2 for 42, but he was very much astray early on. Akib Javid 1 for 36. Two wickets for Imran, who bowled cleverly. And the two leg spinners, Iqbal Sikander, 1 for 30, and Mushtaq Ahmed, 1 for 35, did very well indeed. So 212 to win for Pakistan. It's not easy, but it's certainly within their capabilities, even without Javid Miandad. That's going to be four whites racing down to fine leg. A bad start, bad ball. Alan Donald is quite quick. On this occasion, very inaccurate. Richardson had no hope there. He's dived very wide. The width and the pace was too great for him. And this man, So Hale, for Pakistan, doing very well in this World Cup. The first boundary off the bat, just when it was needed after a maiden over. So Hale got himself into trouble early in the over, looking to hit Pringle away on the leg side. Pringle this time gives him a little bit of width on the offside. He's given it the full face of the bat and the full flow of the bat. And the short boundary there at cover. No trouble getting it through. Yes, the Pakistan out cricket is not brilliant. The fielding was, um, well, it reached the point of being horrible in the end. And they're running between wickets is, well, if it's passable, it's only just passable. They don't, um, they certainly don't pick up any extra runs running between wickets and they cost themselves a few in the field. So they certainly miss job at me and that. Just over the top. Hudson the man. And into the fence it goes. Hudson no chance of getting to that one. Right off the meat of the bat. That's his first boundary. Yes, that was nicely timed. Ball was there for the taking, but you do have to make sure you get the elevation. It's amazing how many times a batsman will get caught in the early overs by that man just behind square leg, lurking on the edge of the circle. But uh, he got the elevation there with some good timing. And Macmillan is now being brought into the attack. Over the top. That's his second boundary. He's uh, well up there on the list of uh, boundary hitters in the World Cup, Amir Sahail. Once again, it's that man uh, around the square leg umpire position that was almost in the game. You need a bit of elevation if you're going to flick the ball off your toes in the air. So far, the Pakistan openers have been able to clear that fieldsman. Oh, well, that uh, he meant to go on the leg side. It just held its line a little bit and ended up going way down to third man. Well, he got the elevation on the other side of the uh, wicket this time, but it was certainly an unintentional shot. It was supposed to go over a square leg once again. And finished up uh, clearing Adrian Caper in the gully. Oh, and uh, here overthrows too. We'll have to uh, settle for just two there. That's uh, the 50 partnership. 84 balls for the 50 partnership. Well, the fieldsman, uh, Adrian Caper, did the right thing in firing at the stumps because there was a good chance he was going to get a run out if he'd hit. Unfortunately, the fielders weren't backing up in the correct position. Hold him. Well, what a shot that was. Everything going along beautifully for Pakistan. That was pitched around about middle stump. 
and he tried to hike it away down towards square leg. So Pakistan now one for 50. In Zamam Al Haq. But uh, this is the bit that South Africa so desperately needed. A very odd stroke considering they were going along in pretty good style, but it's the one South Africa one. And that's the second one they wanted. It's rather an awkward catch momentarily for the keeper, and here's Clive Rice. Yes, Richie, a change of commentary and a change of wicket in South Africa's fortunes out there. Yeah, Brian McMillan gets the uh, outside edge. Richardson takes it extremely low down. And suddenly Pakistan have now got two batsmen that have got to get off the mark at the crease. That was an ideal situation. Two for 50.